Prince Charles and Camilla are waking up here in Melbourne this morning after flying in late last night from Longreach in Western Queensland. The Royals will be here at Flemington later today with the Duchess of Cornwall actually to present the Melbourne Cup to the winner. Sunrise correspondent Edwina Bartholomew joins us again. Eddie, what do you think? So they've got a busy day. What is their schedule, race day schedule like? Well, here's the inside running, Mel. They'll arrive around 1.30 this afternoon, drive down the main straight to the clock tower. Then they'll go in and meet some of the jockeys in the weighing room before the race, then head up to the committee room to meet with some of members of the Victorian Racing Club. And that's where they'll actually watch the race from, not from the birdcage, from the committee balcony, where you see a lot of celebrities view the Melbourne Cup. Then they will proceed to the mounting yard where Camilla will, of course, present the Melbourne Cup. I I imagine that she's waking up in Melbourne this morning. Good morning, Camilla, if you're watching. <laughs> Breathing a sigh of relief that it is not 40 degrees here today like it was in Longreach when they arrived yesterday. Let's take a look at that. There was movement at the station for the word had passed around. Chuck and Camilla are in town. In Longreach, that is, a long way from London. With only 4,500 people, 1,200 kilometres from Brisbane, this was a quick taste of the real Australia. I'm so jet-lagged that I feel a few sausages short of a barbie. <laughs> they toured the birthplace of Qantas, where a sheepish farmer acted as patient for the Royal Flying Doctors Service. At the Stockman's Hall of Fame, opened by the Queen 24 years ago, Charles held a whip, didn't quite crack it, while Camilla met some locals, a pet red kangaroo and a baby, clearly a Republican. <laughs> Our Governor-General stayed cool in Lemon Sorbet Yellow with a 40 degree day providing the warmest welcome possible from Queensland. But what of Camilla's parasol? Up and down like a drunk fly on a hot day? She saw sense in the end, dropping it and the protocol to press the flesh with the locals alongside her husband. Finally, after three hours on the ground, two and a half in the air and a marathon day, the royal couple arrived in Melbourne, just in time for another race. Now, just a reminder, if you do happen to bump into the royal couple at the track today, you're supposed to greet them with a bow or a curtsy, not supposed to shake their hand unless they offer their hand to you or strike up a conversation unless they speak first. Now, all those rules oh. were thrown out the window yesterday in Longreach, so I think they give us a little bit of leeway <laughs> down here in Australia.